They do this through support and resources. So let's talk about this very important agency here in Cincinnati. Leanne Emmons is the new superintendent, along with Cassie Mattia. What do you do, Cassie? Public relations coordinator. Public relations. Yep. So you're here to make sure I behave. And her. And rein us in. <laughs> Good yeah. luck with that. Yeah, amen. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's talk about uh, mission statements are so important. What is it that we seek to do? What is it that you are now really pushing as head of this very important agency here in town? Well, we just updated our mission statement in January of this year. It's actively partnering with people to access the world. So what we want people to know about that is that that's everyone. That's um, our citizens with developmental disabilities in Butler County. We want them to be seen equal and have equal access to everything that you and I do. So we don't necessarily yeah. call them out separately, um, and we want to make that a partnership. We, we want them to guide those decisions and, and us to support them in that. How big an issue is this here? Um, I think it's improving. Yeah. You know, it, uh, definitely culture is more accepting of people with differences, but there are still places where um, I think people with developmental disabilities are not as welcome or it's not as accessible. I think those of us who don't, you don't deal know with that. You don't that that's child, right. or that's you right. have that parent. Right. We just had a story the other day about a new playground for kids who have mm -hmm. developmental disabilities. And it's hard enough as a parent to be there in time as the toddler is about to walk off the edge. You know, you, you, it's <coughs> so difficult to keep your kids right. safe and but when you have a child with developmental disabilities yeah. so like what are the key things you want to chime in yeah so i would say one of the biggest thing is it's not just children it's also adults uh -huh. um most of the time the transition age individuals get lost uh -huh. so we really are trying to focus um on integrating them into the community um employment is huge really really huge for us yeah. and also just equal opportunities you know paying attention to language um you know treating everybody as equal as possible and really educating yourself on you know what we're trying to do in the community what are some of these pictures we're seeing here that's the rotary club is that the, the whole thing with the playground because i know no, i just joined rotary <laughs> oh did you <laughs> well i know rotary yes. played a role in getting the new playground we talked about yeah yeah that uh makes it possible for those with this is a top workplace join. picture we were just recognized yeah. as one of the top workplaces in cincinnati Excellent. out of about 2400 applicants so we're excited about that that's our staff at our all staff yeah. event um, and then there was a photo there of us with our accreditation certification. Yeah. We were just recently received a three-year accreditation from the Department of Developmental Disabilities, which is the longest you can get. Well, good so for that you. Means we're the best we can be. Yeah, congratulations. Um, yeah, so yeah. we're excited about that. What do you think makes it such a great workplace? Aside from the fact that you're in charge. <laughs> Yes. Um, if I ruled the world, I would just yeah. tell you it would be a wonderful place. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. I think the mission is really important, and I think everybody has a common goal. And we also have worked really hard to, to create, um, you know, a world-class culture there so where our staff feel safe and they feel yeah. accepted, and we really value diversity and teamwork. And so I think that's what makes it a great place to work. All right, so let me ask you this. What's a, what is one thing that one of the workers there, now you're – New as superintendent. New-ish. I was there New, for 13 -ish. years. Yeah, yeah. I was there for 13 years yeah. before, left for three Has and came been back. there someone you wouldn't maybe expect an idea from and you said, that's a fantastic idea or we're going to implement that or, you know, that stands out to you? Well, I... Oh, I'm putting her on the spot. <laughs> Cassie's great. Um, one thing that we do that I think is pretty unique, we have a great self-advocates group. So that's a group of people uh -huh. served by the board. We also have someone who uh, leads that group who's actually our employee. Uh -huh. She and I had lunch together yesterday, uh -huh. and she had so many great ideas. Specifically, I mean, she had put me right on the spot because there was a recent mandate to have a person served on our board. Yeah. And she said, what are you doing about that? What's your plan? Mm. And she wanted me to... Oh, I mean, yes. I've been here six weeks, and she, she said, I want to know what your plan is and how you're going to make that happen yeah, keeping each other accountable. yeah so I really appreciate the advocates they're really yeah. they really are the reason that I keep doing the work and pushing it forward All right, before we run out of time what can we do to help I think make your spaces more accessible invite people with differences and disabilities in think about how things can be more available to folks and then you know promote our mission be a friend to a person with a disability yeah wonderful beautifully put thank you both yeah thank, thank you. you congratulations yes, thank Thanks. you